Gallant News Digest, 13th of November, 3304. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, rogue cop suspended over a Tribune probe. Nova Imperium demands imperial isolation. Appeal to find the Corsair King. Colonia divisions laid bare. Rogue cop suspended over a Tribune probe. Ramesh Thorne has been suspended from the Federal Security Service after ignoring orders to drop his investigation into the bot-hacking scandal. Lieutenant Inspector Thorne, who was taken off the case following veiled threats from the Mars Tribune, made an unauthorised appeal for information that might link the Tribune to the spy programmes installed in large numbers of admin robots in the Sol system. Thorne, who has a deep and intense relationship with Smoky Amber Bourbon, whose attempts at having a love life are repeatedly frustrated by his dogged commitment to his work, and who, despite his brilliant, quirky and seemingly infallible mind, is unable to relate to his colleagues, comes from a broken family and seems to feel he has something to prove. Kingsley Cordova of the Mars Tribune seemed to threaten the FSS last week when he suggested that spy bots may have secretly recorded senior FSS figures. Thorne, who saw a correlation between the spy bots and a run of sensational scoops by the Tribune and had offered immunity from prosecution to anyone who came forward, was asked by the FSS to hand in his gun and his badge, plus the coffee and doughnuts he'd been hoarding for stakeouts. Other Sol-based publications have expressed their support for the suspended Lieutenant Inspector and vowed to keep his case in the public eye, which must be a real thorn in the side of the FSS. Nova Imperium demands Imperial isolation. The leader of the right-wing nationalist Nova Imperium organisation has called for the Empire to sever all ties with what he describes as the inferior powers. The so-called Imperator believes that what will inevitably become known as Impexit will be the only way to protect the citizens of the Empire from invasion by the Thargoids and that purebred Imperials should don their zero-G togas and join with Nova Imperium to restore the Empire to its former glory. In a tersely worded statement, Senator Denton Petraeus warned the Imperator and his extremist followers not to test the Empire's patience. Appeal to find the Corsair King Olav Redcourt, author of the massively successful Corsair King series of historical romances, has been reported missing simultaneously by his family and colleagues. A day after Galnet News, presumably acting on a tip-off, had prematurely announced his disappearance. Speculation is rife about the author's fate. He fell out with his publisher, Bonespar Publications, in August, having announced his intention to start writing niche science fiction. Could he be trying to avoid the financial penalty for not completing the Corsair King series? Or could he have been kidnapped by an obsessive fan, kept in a pit and forced to write a new Corsair King novel? Or it gets the hose? Anyone who knows of Redcourt's whereabouts or can provide any information are urged to contact the Federal Security Service, who will almost certainly have a Lieutenant Inspector available to investigate. Colonia Divisions Laid Bare They may have thought they were setting up a brave new settlement free from political interference by the powers of the bubble, but the Founding Fathers of Colonia have come under fire this week for using such a divisive name, with unwelcome connotations from Earth's distant past. The rights of the first few fungal growths that lived in the Colonia region before its settlement by humans are not in question. 
But there's a fear that by using the name Colonia, we may in some way detract from one historical meaning of the word colony. Revisionists have claimed unsuccessfully that it's OK to use the name Colonia because Colonia is named after the large intestine, or colon, because it's a bit shit. However, the truth is far simpler and far more palatable. The people of Colonia hardly ever wear any clothes, because they hardly ever meet anyone, and because the huge number of nearby stars makes life uncomfortably warm. At best, explorers and hopeful traders passing through might be wearing a pair of greying and interestingly stained underpants. Yes, it's true. Colonia is named after the word colony. Because it's a nudist colony. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to.